for that matter for your wedding, you can reuse uh, them again, uh, can't we? Because we can book you for our um, uh, anniversaries and things like that too. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's quite an interesting, uh, that, and I think that comes back again to what I was saying, building up that relationship with the client, where I feel that the fire and forgets it, if it doesn't ever build that relationship with the client. Um, a lot of um, our clients, um, obviously they get married and then they start their own family and, and you know when the first child comes along it's very exciting and it's quite nice for us as well because you know if we see this, you know, two people are now progressing into a little family unit, we get to photograph that and share in the joy. Um, so you know, obviously it's a business proposition for us as well but it's also really nice to see. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it can extend so far. Uh, a lot of people that come to us and have weddings shot, um, have their um, children's uh, photographs taken, uh, family portraits. Uh, they may even come to us and ask us about you know, some form of commercial and corporate photography if they have a business that, um, that, is, that they have the requirements for. Gary, how much lead time should I allow to book a wedding photographer? In my opinion, I think a wedding photographer, you should allow yourself at least 12 months. Um, in our studio, it's common for us to uh, take bookings up to two years in advance. Um, a lot of people think that's a long time. Uh, it isn't really. Planning a wedding is, is, is quite, a, quite a big task. Um, and the wedding photographers, I mean, as I said, look, we are, we are taking bookings quite often two years in advance, and there's nothing worse than spending the time going through the website. There are quite a few wedding photographers around, and um, they offer fantastic um, products and services. They're of a very high calibre, Australian photographers, I believe, um, probably in the, some of the best in the world. Having said that though, you are going to see a certain photographer style that you're going to like. There's people who often say to us, you just love your photos. There's just something about them. They obviously click with your photography and then obviously if they click with you, it's all uh, it's beautiful and wonderful and we can carry on. However, there's nothing worse than you find the one you want, then you contact them, and the day is gone, we booked already. Uh, we, we don't like that disappointment, uh, and, and it's very hard then, because once they've had that in their mind, and they've had a little bit of a dream, and they've seen your photos, and they imagine themselves being you know, photographed in a similar style and fashion to what you're providing, it's very difficult for them to go and try and find that in another photographer, because you can't. You can't go to that photographer and say, well, you know, I, I can't get you because this guy was, I come to you because that guy's book and I want you to do the same kind of photography, it doesn't work like that. So, definitely a lot time. Yeah, good advice, Gary, because it'd be heartbreaking not to be able to book the person that you want. Gary, on your website, millsphotography.com.au, you have a ton of great wedding shots. What would be your fine, a favourite kind of wedding shoot? Wow, that, that's, uh, <laughs> that is a pretty tough question to answer. I, I guess, um, it's, it's going to be a hard one to answer, but I'll answer it like this. I guess I like them all. Uh, weddings are really diverse, uh, from cathedrals to chapels, um, beaches to mountains. Look, look, look I, 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 to be honest, I love the beach, and I love the surroundings. So, so maybe the beach is my favorite. So maybe beach weddings, I mean, I'll probably go with that. But in all honesty, I, I, I find them all exciting, something different. Um, I very much do, uh, do like uh, playing with light. I mean, obviously, being a photographer, uh, that's something that we do. But, but I do quite like challenging light and, and trying different things. But uh, yeah, probably the beach. I probably lean towards the beach. Gary, before we introduce your bonus, what's your number one piece of advice? I think the best piece of advice I could give anybody would be uh, trust your photographer. Um, you know, you, if you if you follow the rules that I've given and, and use the uh, selection process that I've mentioned, I believe that at, at the point where you're going to go with your photographer, you, you should be able to trust them. Um, ask their advice on how to achieve the photographs you want and don't give them a list. Don't give them a list? No. I want to see, I, I, I don't believe that that's a, a smart plan. Um, there may be some people who, who would not agree with me on that, but um, I personally do not like being given a list. I'm more than happy for them to mention something special. Um, I recently shot a wedding where uh, a gentleman's um, grandpa was there. Uh, it was a very special moment for them, and they mentioned it to me, and we glad that we got an absolutely beautiful shot of these guys, and, and that was all we needed. 
I think a very difficult thing that a lot of wedding photographers face is that somebody will turn up on the day and give them a list of 20 photographs. That you know, it's very difficult to be creative and work to a list. Um, you know, I, I, I don't advise that. Um, more than more than happy for people to sit down and, and, and tell us that they, you know certain must have photographs that they want. Um, and look, these usually extend honestly to two or three photographs over the years we've seen, and that's fine, that's fantastic. But I think handing a list out of, of 20, 30 photographs is it's not a good idea. I think you're just you're squashing some of the creativity of your photographer might be. Gary, you've got a special offer for us. What is it? Um, look, anybody who books a wedding with us as a result of listening to, to this interview, um, we will we will give them a free 18 by 12 inch print of their choice. Um, and to to get that um, offer, they can visit our website, which is millsphotography.com.au forward slash kiss the bride offer um, and I believe there um, will be a link on the bottom of uh, one of these web pages here where they can also click through and uh, pick up that's right Gary so that's uh, 18 by 12 uh, print 18 by 12 inch uh, print of their choice obviously any of the photographs that we've taken um, from their wedding and they can always ask us advice on which one we think and that link um, um, is uh, millsphotography.com.au forward slash kiss the bride offer that is correct Gary that is, is some of the best uh, photo photographic advice uh, I've heard and I really appreciate your insight uh, Gary because um, there's some valuable uh, lessons to be learnt um, from your wisdom here Gary and I want to thank you very much for that it's been a terrific interview thanks thanks Simon, and uh, thank you very much for having you're welcome Gary uh, you were listening to um, celebrated wedding photographer Gary Mills um, thanks for being with us and don't forget to check uh, Gary's website millsphotography.com.au and if you're interested in that 18 by 12 inch um, print offer that Gary's offering have a look at his website at millsphotography.com.au forward slash kiss the bride offer thanks for being with us and we'll uh, be seeing you again soon